Well, technically speaking, it's the first snowfall of the year. Not too much to write home about, but it's snowing. My old man wanted light. Oh, he got light. Oh. So we have two on the front, which they're not super duper bright, but dude, check this thing out in the back. Well, inside first off. Cause it bright enough out here. And then he's got this mammer jammer on the back, which is brutally bright. <laughs> Our in-house electrician. So he should be happy. What's going on guys? Welcome back. Uh, again, I just want to start off by saying thank you. I've really been feeling the love. Uh, if you do like the video, make sure to subscribe. Um, got to get some guys subscribed, got to get this thing rolling. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about a big topic in the snowmobile industry, and that is skis. Um, I feel personally that this is a big topic and I feel like a lot of guys kind of disagree, very few agree uh, about what to do. So yes, when you buy your snowmobile, most of the time, it comes with skis, especially a brand new one. It comes with brand new skis. Could you go and run it and like it? Sure. Do, could you go and run it and hate it? Yes. So kind of, and it's tough. It's very tough for the, uh, you know, the manufacturers to touch all of the people that are buying these sleds to, to their needs. So I think they do a very good job of kind of finding the middle of the road and being able to provide something that kind of, for the most part, touches everyone. I am not personally one of those people that they, uh, they touch, but that's totally fine. So what I always do, and it is probably one of the first things that I do, is throw a set of skis on. <laughs> I just started videoing, really? like a minute ago. Okay. Core always seems to uh, <laughs> come in. Hi, baby. Hi. How are you? Good. Wait, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. I was just getting the video going. Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so one of the first things that I do is throw a set of skis on. I am, I don't want to say biased to them, but they're the skis that I've ran forever, even when I was racing and so on, and they still now support me, so big shout out to them. And that is CNA Pro. Um, so I actually got a couple different skis out here to show you guys. And my shop's a mess. I'm in an organizing kind of fiasco right now. Speaking of which, we have to go to the store because those toolboxes that we got don't work. Okay, your mom needs an extension for it, so we have yeah. to get that too. I know. So, yes, I go with CNA Pro. Last year, I ran the XESs, which is kind of like their crossover ski. So this is what we have here. Um... So this is kind of like your middle of the road, um, aggressive ski kind of crossover-ish type deal. Um, it was the first year that I ran them and I did like them. I liked them a lot. I thought they were a good kind of all around ski. They were good for slow speeds. They were good for, for fast speed. There were a couple things that I didn't like. So again, this is their XESs. I don't know what the specs are on it. I don't even know where my phone went. I did pull these up. So they're six and three quarter wide. Um, there was a one inch center keel. So that's to me the biggest, the biggest thing. So that's, that's an XCS. So that's what I ran last year. And that's what is gonna be going on Bruno. Prior to that, I used to run XTs, which is the most aggressive ski from CNA that you could get. So we used to run these on the race sleds and everything. 
So they are super, super deep keel. They're even wider than the XCSs. I think they have an inch and three quarter keel. So it's insanely deep and I absolutely love them. Here, we'll get them set up up here so we can kind of look at the differences. So, I don't know if I could get down deep enough. It looks like that one's bigger, but I promise you it's not. So that is super deep keel. Um, again, these are both used sets. So for the most part, like the XES has a square edge here. Um, this side is worn down. That's just from a year of riding. And uh, these XTs also have, normally have a square edge, like a big thick square edge. They're also wore down. That's the other thing. Skis take an absolute beating, um, you know, all year round. They are the first thing to hit rocks, water, ice, curbs, you know, whatever you decide to go over. So what I didn't like about the XCSs, high speed cornering. I mean, we're talking 75 plus. I was still getting a little bit of a push out of them. So a push is technically understeer. So when you turn it and you're still going straight, that's a push. So that is the one thing that I didn't like about that. And I'm gonna be switching a little bit of something up this year to go with that. Um, but they were good in a little bit tighter, slower trails. They were fantastic. XTs, what I didn't like about them. When you're trying to go slow, uh, you know, little tighter trails, they're a bear to turn. Um, it's a lot of rider input to get them to turn, and sometimes they don't even wanna turn. But high speed stuff is great because when you need it to turn, it's gonna turn. I promise you it's gonna turn. Um, so I'm trying to find a middle of the road, which then leads me to my next conversation about Skags, which we have right here. So what I use every year so I use Stud Boy um, Shaper Bars, nine inchers, um, super aggressive, again. But when I want it to turn, I want it to turn. I've tried sixes and I don't, they don't do enough for me. They don't have the feedback to me that I would like for them to have. So I run nines, even when I ran my XTs, I ran nines. So again, super aggressive setup, which I actually thought about trying to run a XT with a six inch to see how that does, but I never got that far. So I run nines. It's probably the most aggressive. I know they make sixes. I think they make fours. And then if those are all too aggressive, they make round bars. So that's going to be a little bit easier for kind of all around purposes. But so again, I run XCSs currently with a nine inch shaper bar. Now we're going to bring up Factory ski. Ooh. Factory ski. Uh, they don't have nearly enough bite for me. As you could say, the profiles are totally different. You know, their keel doesn't even start until, you know, way at the bottom. You know, they always come. And yes, you could get, you know, bigger skags for it. And a lot of guys do like that. And that's fine for them. It's just not my cup of tea. So... You know, your skag profile is only, you know, probably four inches. Yeah, probably a four. When a CNA, you know, we're going from here to there with our skag, and most of that is actual skag that's in the snow. And again, your keel profiles are way different, and these don't have skags in it, so it's going to look, you know, much, much different. So, with all of that being said, kind of my game plan this year, and I didn't even think about it until I was going through some things organizing are um, these. And I couldn't even tell you, I'm drawing a blank on what they're called. So pretty much what these do is they go inside of your ski like that. Well, they, obviously they bolt through, you know, bolt, bolt. So when you turn and the snow builds up on the side, it actually creates a wall to give you some side bite. So I think with running those, and I never used to like them when I raced, because um, with the XTs and so on and so forth, they were they made them insanely bitey, and I didn't like it, especially in, if it was like a warmer, kind of hard packed snow day, I didn't like them at all. So I'm going to install these just on the outsides, not on the inside of each ski, it's just gonna be 
So one on the, the right side of the right ski and on the left side of the left ski. And hopefully, I'm hoping that that kind of takes away that little bit of push that I get at super high speeds. Um, whether it's gonna work or not, I'm not really sure, but we're gonna try it. So white skis are very cool as well, but man, they get dirty and then you can't get them under. These were <laughs> scrubbed with dish soap, simple green, uh, fantastic bleach, and then wiped down with uh, acetone, and I still can't get them to come white, which is very annoying, Clor. Try some bleach. I, the fantastic spray had bleach in it. Mm. So I'm gonna uh, get these drilled in there. So what my game plan is, is to oops, take these out. Which, it's pretty simple. I don't know why I still have this. Steel. So you're obviously gonna want this, you know, center of your ski. So, you know, I'm just gonna do some measure, quick measurements here and uh, get lined up with that, my bolt. Push this up against there, drill some holes, and then uh, go from there. So we got our side wing dingers on there. Um, I actually have to get shorter spacers because these are a kit for the XTs and they're a little bit wider, so they do stick out a little bit currently. So I just gotta get a little bit shorter ones, snug that up so they're nice and flush with the side. Um, they're just kits that you could get. It's nothing special. These are like one of the first kits. That was, these are probably made in like 2012, 13. So um, every year I get a new set of carbides. So these are nine inch shapers. These were from last year. Um, there is absolutely nothing wrong with them and I could 100% run them again this year. But because my people over at Stud Boy support me, I get new ones every year. And then these go into a spare in case I ever bend them or, or you know, whatever could possibly be done. So uh, those are on. So let me backtrack. These have uh, like 1,100 miles on them or so. So they're pretty impressive. Um, I've had a set with like 2,500 miles on it that still look like this. But again, that just goes into the, the spares, which is what I'm organizing today. So that's gonna, these now actually, Join those. So I'm gonna get these mounted up. They're always fun getting them out of the package, especially uh, with one hand. Skags are all in, carbide skags. People call them a whole bunch of different things. So this is what a brand new set of nine inches look like. Nice and pretty. Um, again, your skis take an absolute beating. Um, that's another thing that I kind of talk about is just, uh, I don't want to say wearability because that's not what the word I'm looking for. Can't think of it. Um, Factory ones are super flimsy. Um, I've seen a lot of like punctures through these and I don't know, I'm just, I just jump on over here. But it is a big, you know, it is a big cost. I think just the skis themselves are, are like $480 just for the skis. And then that doesn't include the mounting kit. So the mounting kit comes with these bushings that you have to press in, Not press in. You could use a, like a C, C channel clamp, uh, can't think of what I even use. I'm drawing a blank here, totally. So it comes with them, it comes with whatever ski rubbers you need, um, all manufacturer and gear dependent, and then bolts and washers and nuts. 
So I've switched a lot of guys over. Uh, all my buddies that I ride with, I want to say every single one of them now have CNAs. I'm pretty sure. Um, everything over factory. So now we got them all buttoned up. We're going to see what white skis looks like on an all black sled in a couple seconds here. If, you, uh, if you've been following along, Corey took these off of my 2020 Pro S. Do you want to put them back on? Yeah, I'll do it. You want to put them back on? Is it the same work? Same concept, yeah. I can do that. All right, well then you're gonna have to give Nash up. <laughs> no, he's my helper. He's normally my helper. Am I doing it now? Yeah. So this is gonna be your left ski. So we have to take and take these off. Get your bolts. What do I need? Hmm? I don't know. What, I don't know what I need. Bolts. Why that's stuck in there? That went in nice and easy. You can do one and I'll do the other. You want me to do the first one so you can see how it's done? Yeah. All right. So ski rubbers uh, normally come with one side higher, one side lower. It tells you in the directions which one to go. Um, so you throw that in there, whatever way is. Again, in the directions, you get your bolt, your nut. I always get them started, kind of like so. Bring this just in case. Come here. I thought you said the right. And I hurt my back too, so this is gonna be tons of fun. Can we do it? Ow. There you go. Here, I'll do it. What do you mean you'll do it? Well, don't you? I don't want you to hurt yourself. No, I'm good. And then you gotta look and see what side this is. Through the other end. And you get your washer and your nut. Here, give me. Watch, there's a whole bunch. <laughs> it happened again. You couldn't tell me that before. Well, I was getting ready to. I didn't think you were going to do it that fast. You need a nappy can. Well, I'm gonna do the other one. Yeah, but you gotta wipe it off first. <laughs> now I'll take the wing off on this side. Both the back ones were tight. They went right in. To open that hole up a little bit. What are you forgetting? This. Yep. The taller side to the back. Make sure to get that nice and lined up. Can't put it through yet. I know. You tackling this or what? Yeah. The hardest part is getting it. You gotta spread the ski just a little bit to get it over the. 
There you go. And a lot of times what helps is to lift the front of the ski bib. We forgot our little, little mallet. And see how far it is. It's pretty, you're probably gonna have to pick up on that end. Yeah. All right. I got it. <laughs> Here, give me the mallet. You pick up and I'll hit it. Good. Mm -hmm. Watch. There's probably never season that again. No, on the bolt. <laughs> nope. Yeah. And then we gotta put the little, well actually we gotta tighten these first. Yeah. I could do it? Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Here. Did you switch the in the first place? You just like the color? No, I like the, the performance side of them. Much better than the factory ones, the ones that come with it. What happened to the all black? Well, this is the whole game plan the whole time. There's going to be all black. With white skis. Yeah. Cool. You should show me. Reminds me of like Michael Jackson with his white gloves. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of guys, I mean, some guys run CNA, then there are a bunch of other companies. I think there's Sly Dog, USI. I've never, I've never ran them, so I can't really give you an honest opinion on it. Some guys I know do really like them, some guys. So they like their CNA's better. So. Look at the mullet. Oh! Show everybody your mullet. If they haven't seen the mullet in this video But yet, it's looking good. Well, that's because I have an in-house hairdresser to do it. It's a hairstylist. Stylist, sorry. <laughs> oh. They left. Huh? Your parents just left. Where'd they go? Probably to Ace Hardware. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of those? Or like you're jumping in late in this video. You're gonna have to watch this video and learn. Alright, okay. I will. And then I'll let you know what those are. And just like that, we now have all black sled, white skis. Um, two things. One, if I decide that I don't like the white, I will order black ones. And then two, if I like the white, but I don't like how these skis still perform with the little wing things, then I'm going back to XTs. And that's kind of where I'm gonna stand. I think if I do go back to XTs though, um, I actually used to work at a machine shop so I might bring them there and machine this down like a half an inch. Kind of meet in the middle of where these are and where those are. Let me know what you guys think though. Do you guys like the all black with the white skis? Do you not like it? 
Ooh, give me some opinions. I can't really, I can't decide yet because I still don't have my gold Fox shocks, which I'll have the springs back tomorrow, and then I will be doing a video putting them on and kind of going over some some adjustments on those. But I don't know how I feel about it. You don't know how you feel about it? No. I don't know. I'm not, I'm kind of in the air as well. But you're really, you're, they're going to be in the snow. So it's going to look like there is no skis. Yeah, but you still, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not 100% sold on them yet either. It's going to look just like a jet ski. A jet ski? Because <laughs> you're not going to see the skis. Oh, you're not going to see the skis. Yeah, I don't know. Could you do something else white? Like maybe the, you did hammer for The muffs? Ah. Uh. Or a white seat would be cool, but that's. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to think about it. And or why don't you just wear all white? <laughs> like you used to. I know. I did used to. Yeah. Way back when. But that's it. That's my opinion on skis. That's what I do. Again, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but that is what I like and that's what I run. So. We're going to sit here and we're going to stare at this thing and I'm going to, I don't know, figure out if I like it or not. And then we'll go from there, right, Core? So, that's it. If you guys have questions, I don't know, let me know. But that's going to do it for this video. Uh, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Big thing today. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.